Number two, at time t greater than or equal to zero, a particle moving along a curve in the xy plane has position x of t, y of t, with a velocity vector v of t equaling cosine t squared e of 0.5 t. At t equals one, the particle is at the point three five. Find the x-coordinate of the position of the particle at time t equals two. So we just want the x-coordinate, so we just want to deal with the three and the velocity. So um, if we want to find the position of the particle at time t equals two, we know this is where it is at, at t equals one. So the position is going to be, we're starting at three, and then we're going to figure out how much did it move from one to two. So to get to how much the particle moved from one to two, we're going to take the integral of the velocity and we only need to do the x value of the velocity. So that's what my formula setup is going to be. Then we can use our calculator to calculate this. This would just be math nine for this part. And then we'll just add three to it. The biggest thing is you can't ignore the three because um, we want to figure out where did the particle start at. And if you do that, you should get 2.557. And that was worth actually three points. If you have an integral in your problem, you would get a point. If you considered the initial condition, you'd get a point. And then if you got a right answer, you'd also get your third point. Okay, B. For t between 0 and 1, there is a point on the curve at which the line tangent to the curve has a slope of 2. At what time is the object at that point? So pretty much it's just saying, when does the object have a slope of 2? So slope, we know using um, parametric, is dy dt over dx dt. And in this case, they already we already have the derivatives, so dy dt will equal e to the 0.5t over dx dt will be cosine of t squared. So from here, we would just like to figure out where would that equal to. And the uh, easiest way that I like to do on this one, if we're allowed to use our calculator, I like to set it equal to zero. So I'm gonna have e to the 0.5t over cosine of t squared minus two is equal to zero. And then since I'm just going from zero to one, I'm gonna change my window to that. And if I do, I get a picture that looks like this. And so I just want to find that zero right there. And if I use the zero feature of my calculator, we don't need to be in parametric mode at all for this. We can just be in function mode. When I do that, I get t equals 0 0.840. And this was worth two points. If we found the slope in terms of t, so if we found this, this was worth a point. And then if we found the time, we also got our second point. Okay, part C, find the time at which the speed of the particle is three. So now we're dealing with speed, and we know in parametric that speed is the square root of dx dt squared plus dy dt squared. Okay, so if I plug stuff in, I'm gonna get the square root dx dt again. They already nicely found that for me. And then that whole thing is squared plus dy dt was e to the 0.5t squared. So that is the speed. And they want to know when is that part speed equal to three. So I'm just going to set it equal to three. And then just like I did on part B, again, let's just set it equal to zero because then we can use the zero feature of our calculator. So minus three equals zero. And then from here, if I do that, and again, this time it didn't give me um, limits, so I guess I just won't use them. Uh, when I type this in my calculator, I got some squiggly stuff, and then it hit right here. So if I use the zero feature of my calculator to find that, I got that that was equal to 2.196. So on this problem, and be careful when you're plugging this in your calculator, those parentheses and the squareds probably will, might cause you a little bit of difficulty. This was um, worth two points. If you found the speed in terms of t, so if you found this right here, that was worth one point, and then if you got your t value, that was worth your second point. Okay, part D, find the total distance traveled by the particle from t equals zero to t equals one. Um, total distance traveled is going to be the same as arc length in um, parametric, and the arc length is the integral, <clears throat> and this one will be from zero to one, of the square root of dx dt squared plus dy dt squared. So you'll notice that this one is actually the speed formula. We're just taking the integral of the speed formula. So from here, we'll do the integral from zero to one. dx dt is cosine t squared squared plus e to the point five t squared. 
And then from here, you can just type that into your calculator and you get 1.595 if you do so. So this was also worth two points. If you have an integral set up right here, that would be worth one point. And then if you were to get the distance traveled, you'd get your second point. So that is problem number two.